So as we shift, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what the heck's going on. My allergies are just completely out of whack. As we shift gears here and discuss the latest headlines in Buffalo sports, we go from the Buffalo Bills to the Buffalo Sabres, the two major sports franchises in Buffalo. But I I am going to say, shout out to the Bisons, because I love baseball. Everybody knows that. Hopefully, I do see Vlad Jr. in a Bison's uniform. I did not get the chance to <clears throat> this this past Bison season. And as far as a, another major sports team that I think Buffalo can root for would be UB. What this university is accomplishing is... It's it's fantastic. It's amazing. It's thrilling. It's captivating. It's exciting. And I, I want to give those those um, coaches and those two teams a shout out as far as the football team as well as the men's hoops. Could quite possibly be two top 25 teams in the NCAA which is just Division One, which is just fantastic for the university, fantastic for this area, fantastic for the two coaches that made it happen, Nate Oates and Lance Leipold. Um, really fantastic that, that we have seen the progression and the growth, particularly the last 10 years with the football team and the last, really, essentially the last 10 years with the basketball team. Leipold, Leipold has, has done a a great job as far as recruiting talent, bringing his winning pedigree from the D3 to D1, and uh, Nate Oates taking over for Bobby Hurley. Most people, myself included, thought that the sky was falling when Bobby Hurley left, and Nate Oates just, he didn't just pick up where he left off. He he took the mantle and ran with it, Uh, and it's been really fantastic to see UB play as well as they have on both ends, whether it's men's hoops or football. They're very talented, and and I'm very excited to see the direction of the programs, where they go. I I really know for a fact that it has captivated this area. So all that being said, um, there is definite need to talk about the NHL Buffalo Sabres. I am a diehard Buffalo Sabres fan. I am a um, Sabres fan that, that I've, I've been through so much. We have been through so much. And to see what we've seen so far this season, entertaining, exciting games from these Buffalo Sabres leads me to come to one conclusion, and that is that the Sabres have a squad. They have pieces. They have so much room to grow. And when you look at how exciting and how entertaining they have been this 2018 season, you have to say to yourself, what are the next three to four years going to look like? What are the next five to six years going to look like? If we're excited about Rasmus Dahlin now, how much better is he going to get? He's already pretty damn good. If we're already excited about Jack Eichel, how excited are we going to be in three to four years? He's pretty damn good now. You throw in Jeff Skinner, who I think is the best move that the Sabres have made in a long time in terms of getting someone from another team. Uh, I would say he's the best move since Chris Jury for the Sabres. Um, and, and maybe that might be jumping the gun a little bit because it is still early in this season, but Jeff Skinner has been one of the hottest players in the National Hockey League this year. And I've always liked him. And when it became apparent to me that he was available, I did not see the Buffalo Sabres pulling the trigger on a move like that, nor did I see them getting him for, for what they gave up. 
which was essentially some mid-round picks, and Cliff Poo, who has talent, no doubt, but I thought they'd have to give up a little bit more than that, to be quite honest. As I take my swig of water here. But regardless, I mean, there's other moves that, that aren't really the obvious moves. Uh, guys like Carter Hutton, guys like Connor Sheary. Those two moves, I really feel those two guys, a solid netminder and obviously a player that knows his role and is willing to stay in his lane, not do too much and not do too little, and just play his game. Those guys are essential to winning in the National Hockey League, having players that know their role in terms of on the ice, off the ice, knowing that they're essentially a third-line guy but can really fit in some sorts of, I don't want to say packages because that's a football word, but essentially packages in terms of his speed and his agility and his awareness on the ice. So... Those moves are really what have, have grasped my grasped my attention. And you also have a guy by the name of Sam Reinhardt, who I really feel like has played much better as a all-around hockey player, defensively and offensively. And I also have to throw this out there, guys and girls. We have experienced a lot of up-and-down seasons as Buffalo Sabres fans. We've experienced a lot of just mediocre mediocre, um, efforts these last few years. So much that that we knew very well that this team was tanking and they were trying to lose and everything like that. But we wanted them to be better than they were last year. And I wanted them to be better than they were last year, for sure. I always want to see them get better. I, I want to see the Sabres win. I want to see the Bills win, obviously. But some of the criticism that was placed on Phil Housley, actually, in my opinion, all of it, w- was not really warranted, being that it was his first season as the head coach of the Buffalo Sabres, and we knew how bad they were. We knew that they had a new GM as well that was really... Uh, turning over every move that Tim Murray made and and washing his hands of it. So it it took a little bit for them to make their own foundation, for them to put their own spin on the team. And the spin that they put on the team has been quite fantastic. So let's roll with this. Let's not deviate from the plan. Let's roll with Jason Botcher. Let's roll with Phil Housley. And let's go. Let's make this happen. Because I, I really believe that within five to six years... The Sabres could very well have a Stanley Cup. I really believe that. If they continue to add players and pieces with who they have, with the talent that they have, with the coaching that they have, I've believed in Phil Housley's up-tempo, offensive-defensive system um, since his days, obviously, in Nashville and, and in the other pit stops that he's had in his career. This is a Hall of Fame defenseman a true legend in the sport as one of the best American-born defensemen in National Hockey League history. Mind you, he was a former captain of the Buffalo Sabres, so that also is is the obvious, but it also needs to be thrown out there, I believe. He understands the culture of this city, he understands the culture of the organization, and has put his own spin on it, and I enjoy that. I feel like they also have a Maxima Fenagenov esque player. Might not have the pure speed that a Fenagenov had. Might be more of a technical player than a Fenagenov was, whereas he was just raw speed. But Casey Middlestat is unbelievable in terms of his puck handling ability, his ability on the shootout. We saw that a few nights ago. I really feel like this team is coming together, and I I envision the next five to six years being the most successful run that the franchise has ever had, with Phil Housley leading the way and eventually retiring as the coach of the Buffalo Sabres in the next 10 to 15. I truly believe that, and I'm not overhyping it. I'm not being biased 
I believe with the talent that they have, that that talent will continue to grow and flourish, and they will throw more talent onto this team because clearly Jason Bottrill is able to evaluate talent very well with who he's been able to bring in. And that is exciting. So, in short, the Buffalo Sabres have a squad. The fans are there. They are there to support the team. They've always been there. And in the game that I went to a few weeks back against Montreal, it was October 25th, they were down a goal, tied, down a goal, tied, down a goal, tied, and they win 4-3. to three. That gives me every reason to remember the 2005-06-06-07 teams. And those teams were fantastic, but this one might be even better in terms of their future ability, in terms of the long-term ability, because those teams were great, but they weren't our homegrown guys. This wasn't built over the long haul. It was a very short window of opportunity that ultimately passed them by too soon. It was about a five-year window that really essentially only ended up being two because they let the players go. Whereas now they have guys that they could be on the team for the next 10 to 15 years. If that doesn't excite you, I don't know what will. I'm Ryan Thomas. It was the Thomas Take on the Buffalo Sabres. The Sabres have a squad, folks. Whether they make the playoffs or not is another story, but I believe they will. Take care.